So today, we're going to go and have a look at the paw pad, aren't we guys? Yeah. Right, let's go and have a look. So we're in Wincham, and I'll put up the map later on so people can see where we are. Do you want to go and ring the bell for me? Let's see if they're in. Hello, Alistair. Good morning. Hi, come on, let's go in, let's go and have a look. After you. You guys go through and we'll have a look. Can you open that door, El? Okay, so this is it. Poor pad. Right guys, should we have a look at the dogs and see what we're gonna do? So yeah, we bring them in initially for uh, an induction where we see what they're like and make sure they're not aggressive or um, any down with other dogs. And uh, we'll see how they go for about a month. And, um, watch out for any, any sort of weird personality quirks. So I guess that's pretty important isn't it? All the dogs you've got here all need to get on, all need to they be of the right them, temperament. Yeah, they all have to get on, they all have to be uh, comfortable with daycare as well. Uh, it doesn't suit every dog. So we've also got this great outdoor area. So they can get outside and play. I've got a bit of dog slobber on the camera. Let's try and get that off. Hey. There we go. Hello. <laughs> They're all friendly little happy things. Having a great time here it seems. So it's an ideal day to come and look in here. Wow, look at this, a little doggy salon. So this is where doggies... So that's kind of where you Yeah, you basically, uh, we just put them out to begin with. So we yeah, the dogs, they all smell, they're horrible. You know, uh, we just put them out, we wash them in the dog shampoo, um, get all the shampoo out, we dry them using these, which is like a hair dryer. It's massive, industrial, super quick hair dryer, dogs like it. Nice and, and then we'll check on these things, and this is where we give them a trip. So there's like a big one for me. Yeah. Exactly, so what do you think? On here, you can get a big dog like an Alsatian or something. Uh, then you've got little ones, you know, get a little one out of the Looking at how I've done your hair this morning, maybe we could get you done while we're here. <laughs> Let mummy do your own future, I think. So is this what you were expecting then, for a little doggy salon? Don't yeah. <laughs> Didn't know there was a bath like this. It's not like when we do it in our bath at home, is it? That looks much better, doesn't that it? Much safer. Unless you be able to do it. Do you do all types of dogs? Every time you ever think of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like a whole lot of things. So, we'll get a lot of uh, poodles, Bichons, Sharpe, well, not Sharpe's, but um, well, you've got all these sort of common breeds, really. And some dogs don't need to do it, to be honest. So, you didn't remember Dexter in there. Yeah. He's third, not that. <laughs> so, he won't really need doing. Same way like Staffies. Staffies don't really need doing. We've got a sausage dog as well. Sausage folks, you know the size. Tiny with short legs, long body. Again, um, tiny little fur, so we don't need to do that. The dogs we do a lot. Uh, the sort of, you know, the white fluffy ones. Loads of hair, so poodles, bichons. So you trim nails and things like that, you do all that sort of stuff? Yeah, all dogs have nails, so we do the nails for them. Uh, no, these guys look like collie puppies. Yeah, little collies, aren't they? But, um, so you know, you, you one of the joggies jumped up on you before, and you felt his put claws. Well, this man will, will look after that as well. Alistair will trim the nails and sort those out. Yeah. Otherwise, you end up just really long and scratchy and horrible. You've got um, a lot of four. You make this sound like a tap dancing. So a quick hour at the poor pad this morning. Um, I think my kids were far more entertained by it than I'd ever expected. Um, and the thing that struck me, the thing that I've remembered about the visit really, is sort of Alistair's love for the dogs, for want of a better word. He knew all the little temperaments, all the little quirks, you know, and it's the sort of place I thought, you know, he really cares about those dogs. So I'd have no hesitation about uh, leaving my pooch there for the day. Um, and it struck me as a really good business idea, doggy daycare. Who'd have thought it? Thank you.